Welcome to this Your Business Card Guide tutorial. Today we're talking about Corel Photo Paint, Colorizing a Mask Part 2. Uh, in our last Colorizing Using a Mask tutorial, we had an image that we masked off a part of. We then filled it and uh, colored it. So we filled it with a, a partially transparent color to give it a little bit of a, a colorized effect. And obviously the more you play with it, the you, know, you can use gradients and stuff and you can make it exactly what you want. We're doing it slightly different today. We have the same masked off image that we used in the last tutorial. Uh, we had painted using the brush mask uh, along these images here. And then we, were f we filled them with a color it was a blue, it was semi-transparent, and it kind of gave the effect of a colorized black and white image. The difference in this version is that we have an extra layer. We've got the background, which is the original color layer. We've then created a version of it that is black and white, so now we've got two layers. We have an original color and a completely gray-scaled, you know, black and white version of the exact same image, which we've now masked and we've cut through the mask here. As, as you remember, the mask is like a film that you are using an X-Acto knife to cut holes in. And so we've got those holes cut here and you can see the black and white image showing through. However, what we're going to do this time is simply hit the delete key on the keyboard, which will then cut a hole through the black and white layer, revealing the color layer beneath. Very nice. Now this is the original color, so it's it's a little more uh, rich looking like the original uh, uh, image, not like the mask one where we just kind of filled it with a, a little bit of a light color. Uh, this has everything the original image does. I can zoom in. Uh, so all of the colors that are available, the highlights, the shadow effects, and everything. Uh, we still have our black and white layer masked, but the other thing I want to reveal in full color is the upper area here. This is uh, in the original color version is very bright and colorful and so what I want is to have a grayscale sky and walkway down here to kind of give it a moody feel but have the glass explosions here and the glass here revealed in full color. Uh, to do the upper section you can do a couple of things. You could use the brush tool like we did with these and uh, you could essentially draw them out fill it in and away you go and that would work fine. The other is you can use a tool known as the freehand mask. This is very nice. You can, hit, uh, you can see it here. Uh, the difference uh, in this tool is that it's creating a box shape uh, based on where you draw. When I say box that's loose that's basically just a container uh, depending on the shape you create. If I click and hold the mouse down and draw around you can see that it's creating a container you know based on the freehand that I'm doing. Uh, if you just click and then move your mouse to the new location and click again, it connects it in a straight line. And then move to a new location, click again, and again. And that is a very handy way to, uh, you know, get a shape that has some straight edges to it masked off very quickly. Um, you know, so you can also, if we wanted to, we could just go inside here, and that way we can just reveal the inside bits, uh, if you will. So we can continue along in the different sections. I can click, create an uh, endpoint, click again, click here, and then once you you know double click, it will uh, cut through again. Remember, at this point, it is simply cutting through the mask layer and revealing the uh, black and white layer underneath. And so I'm going to uh, uh, go around the rest. I'll, I'll finish these off here and I'll show you the result in a second. So there, I've taken the minute to uh, kind of run around real quickly and mask everything off. Don't want to waste your time. Um, so again, it's just simply a matter of, you know, clicking the different endpoints, double clicking when you're done, and that completes the container and then it chops through the mask. So now I have this hole in my mask. It's on my black and white layer so simply by hitting the delete key I can now reveal uh, I've, the color underneath the actual background layer and so I can remove the mask control R and so now what I have is a black and white image that is sitting on top of a color image with holes cut through it essentially so I can have a, cre a, a very creative colorized um, effect by simply taking the original image modifying it 
using the mask to make some tweaks and I can come up with an effect just like this. And again, this is obviously a very simple tutorial. You can fade out the color layer. You can add other things to, to it to you know, enhance it. Obviously, you can do a lot of things, uh, including the black uh, background uh, contrast and that kind of color stuff that you can do um, using various tools and uh, in photo paint. There's you know, dodging tools and burn tools. There's a lot you can do on top of just this simple masking technique. Um, but you can see by using a mask, you can very quickly uh, get into some things that you would have to do manually and if you made a mistake you'd have to start over with a mask you can just use the additive um, and the subtractive tools up here on the toolbar if you make a mistake you subtractive you clean it up uh, and then you just keep moving forward once you're done you hit delete it cuts through your your layer and reveals uh, the end product below thanks again for watching this your business card guy tutorial today we talked about uh, Corel photo paint colorizing with a mask uh, as I mentioned, this was part two. We used the mask to cut through a black and white layer, not simply to fill it with a color. Uh, if you are in need of high quality business cards or want just more information, check us out online www.yourbusinesscardguy.com.